hey guys and welcome back to my channel today we are just going to do all the pictures for my hair growth journey as i explained what's going on so i'm going to jump right into it there's nothing really else to talk about um i'm doing a review of all of my big chops so this is in the beginning and if you notice the date at the bottom it's april 2012. i had to go back through instagram to find all my pictures because wow it really told my whole story um all right april this is 2012 you notice my hair is short um cut above my shoulders i actually just cut it um a year prior i don't have any pictures this is when i started my instagram so i don't have any previous ones um unless they're on facebook i'm not gonna go there to get them it's fine um, this is when I discovered clip-ins and I started using clip-ins to add to my hair. I was straightening it all the time. So here I am, my hair is straight. I usually have a relaxer and I just straightened it like all the time. This is my hair when it was wet. I don't have much of a curl pattern, probably because I always kept putting a straightener in. I really did like the way my hair felt. It was lightweight, um, easy to manage. I just loved the short look. And this was in August, 2012. I'm pretty sure I had went and got it cut again. September, 2012. And then I just started putting it in these ponytails. Um, just pulling it back and putting it up, October. October this is me after I got out the shower my hair has no bounce to it no fluff to it not when it's wet I had to straighten it again November and then I'm adding my clip-ins just for length by December and now this face just says it all it looks like I'm gonna get into some trouble yeah I don't know what I was thinking. Boom. January 2013. I dyed it. Please excuse my eyebrows. I thought I was doing something cute, y'all. All right. <laughs> These eyebrows are killing me. All right. January 2013. Mm, all right. Honey blonde. And then it started looking a little orange. It was just kind of weird. Um, I didn't know whether I liked it or not. Maybe it was the photos. I'm pretty sure I look crazier in person than I did on these pictures because these filters <laughs> gave you uh, actual cuteness. I would just put it up to go to work. I really didn't do um, too much other than straighten. Straighten or up. That's the way I had it. I straightened it a lot, especially for work. It was just easier to manage. This is me. I probably put in some extensions. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, look at the ends. It's just like horrible, horrible. I gotta be cute. And I just continued to straighten. I went to the shop. This is in Atlanta. I went to the shop, got it done, got it blow out and straightened and it was cute. Then I decided to dye it red. Was this the same day? No, I dyed it red. Yes, by May 4th, I dyed it red. And it was cute. I loved it. It's cute. But my hair looks shorter. It looks like it's getting shorter. I went to a wedding in June and I got a sew in. This was my very first sew in. And then this is me after I took it out. This is my damage <laughs> of my um, from the heat damage. And I wasn't doing anything back then. I wasn't doing deep conditioning. I wasn't doing oils. You guys, I was just washing and going and flat ironing and going. I was not, I had no routine to my hair care. I thought I was getting longer. I thought I was doing something, but I wasn't. December, I dyed it again. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I looked crazier in person than I did on the pictures. So if I look crazy in this picture, I'm for sure I look crazy in person. It was a windy day that day. I remember going to pick up my friend's husband from the, coming back from deployment. And then, um, yeah, I was looking crazy in all those pictures we took. Yay me. 
this is me at work and I added extensions and I tried the little bang in front I thought it was cute yeah. and this is what uh, where I was at by February 2014 um, it's underneath my but below my armpit I'm pretty sure this is the only length I've ever achieved. I haven't achieved anything past my armpit. Yep, yeah, crazy. It's windy. So this is when I first saw the shortcuts and I was like, oh, that's cute. This is cute. I might do this. This has been April. And still with the bangs. <coughs> Excuse me. Still with the bangs. Still straight, dig. I believe I dyed it to a darker color. I think I dyed it back black, if I'm not mistaken. This was just me on deployment. Um, actually, my deployment was the best hair care I had. My hair was super long when I got back from deployment. And then I ended up cutting it to my shoulders like it is here. I don't know why. I don't know why. Don't ask. This is in December 2014. My hair has grown out, but you see, I can't do anything with it. I'm pretty sure it's from heat damage. So I just decided to cut off the sides. That was the style back then. I cut the sides. It was cute. I liked it. I was rocking it. It was different. I was styling it. But guess what? I'm still using heat. This is nothing but heat. I put it in braids for a little bit, put it in twists, <coughs> excuse me, and yeah, my curl pattern was getting a little better, I guess, from putting it in braids, if uh, you can see it kind of, it's kind of curly, back there, April 2015, 2015 in May, by June, um, yeah, I was just straightening and adding extensions, and then um, I bought a wig. I tried this wig on. Uh, I, I wore it. I can't say it looked good. I wore it. And then I just started wearing my hair up in these buns. Um, yeah, this is in July. August. It's so fluffy, right? After I washed it and then just let it air dry, it was so fluffy. I loved, I, I loved how lightweight it felt. But look, Karenique. Karenique. If you guys remember Karenique, that's the stuff that caused your hair to, to straighten. And that's all I was putting in my hair. Two washes with the Karenique. I, I, you guys, I don't know what I was thinking. This was cute. I just had it pulled back. You can see my sides are growing back in. My hair, my black hair has grown in. You can see the, um, the dyed part. This is me on the left and before I went to my stylist and then this is me on the right after I went to my stylist. I had a, a good stylist out there in California at that time. Then I would still put it in twists and sometimes I would just pull it back. Add extensions. You can see that blonde. And then I decided to go red. So dyeing um, was new to me. I've always done the honey blonde. I have never done anything else. So my hair really wasn't getting that damaged, even from the $5 box buys. Uh, but I did this red, probably dollar store box buy. And I'm, I, I loved it. The last time I um, did it red, you know, I loved it. So here we go, back to red in February. And you can tell it's so damaged. So I decided to put it in braids. Yeah, that doesn't quite work out. When you take the braids out, your hair is literally falling out. So, first big chop, March 27th. A week after my birthday, you guys. Um, yeah, I just was taking those braids down and my hair was falling out. So I was like, you know what? We're starting over. So we shaved it. And I loved it. I was twinning with my son here in March, April. 
about a few weeks later. I got a little bit of hair growth. This is one month later. I can already feel my hair. Yeah, I was just egg treatment. I was doing protein treatment. Um, I did some wigs. Like I said, I was trying out the wigs. I always wore these little headbands. I had my kids, my daughter's team wearing these things. And then these curls were cute. This is 90 days after my big chop. These curls were cute. Um, I was able to put little rubber bands. I don't know. Just had to play in my hair for some reason. And then as soon as it was long enough to put in braids, I went and got it braided. And then in July, four months after my big chop, four months after shaving it, I dyed it blonde. I dyed it back to honey blonde. Um, yeah, what was I thinking? You know, the dye to me did, didn't do as much damage as heat. Because I, my, it was still fine to me. I loved it. I, my texture felt fine. My hair wasn't damaged. Look, it's just... This is in August. So by August, it was just out there. I wasn't putting any products in it, you guys. I wasn't putting any leave-in conditioners, no gels. I was not into all that at that time. Um, yeah, I just did wash and goes, really. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm trying to think that I put any product. I had to have put some type of leave-in conditioner. But um, I dyed it again. This is in September. I dyed it again. And I didn't like the color. It just, it was ugly to me. I didn't like it at all. It was just like, oh my God, what did I do? So I had to figure something out. I added some extensions. Thought it was cute. I tried on wigs. This was by the end of September. I tried on some wigs. I still wasn't liking the way the wigs were feeling or fitting. I did like this shortcut wig, um, October. I wore this one a lot. And then I bought this other one. I didn't really like it. As soon as I was able to twist my hair, I was just twisting it and pulling it back with rubber bands. And by November, here I go, straightening it again. And then December, I put it in braids. That lasted about... A month this seven weeks I think yeah seven weeks January 2017 my blonde had grown out that much so from January um, I dyed it I want to go back I want to go back because that's crazy hold on so I dyed it again in September and it grew out to this by January, September, October, November, December, January. Four months, it, it just grew out. As soon as I was able to put it in braids, I started braiding it down. And that's how I went. I just would braid it down and wear my hair out. I went and got a sew-in. Uh, that was, I didn't like it. Um, This is March. This is when I decided to cut out the blonde that was still left behind. So I cut out the blonde trying to get some type of curl pattern going we're in april 2017 um this was cute this was me just waking up working from home didn't do anything to it and then i decided to straighten it again april i just need to stay away from this heat you guys this is in april i added extensions to go out to a ball in may and i used to just wear it up like this this is july July, one year um, after the big chop. Well, March is a little bit March, April, May, June, July. Almost a year and a half, actually. But here I go straightening it again. Yeah, I don't know why. That's December. Now, here we go, January 2018. I started doing curls with it. This was after I washed it, just wash and let it air dry. This is the style I got. Um, and then this is when I tried to use gel and crimp it. This is me doing just a wash and go in July 2018. But look how full, look how full it is. 
This is how I just used to wear it up in the ponytails. And this was in July. So from December to July, that was the hair growth. I'm noticing it slowing down. Um, I just put it up. After I got out the shower, I would just put it up and leave it like that most of the time. So by August, this was in August 4th. So August 19th, you know, I'm back down to my armpits. I'm, I went and got it cut. I'm still straightening my hair at this time. I'm still straightening. Um, but yeah, it was, it was there. And then September, you know, it's, it's growing. I used to put it in these little ponytails and just leave it. And yep, just used to sit around the house. And then I put braids in by September 2018. I put braids. Still straightening and adding hair. This was my hair, just straight and curled. I really like the look. It, it, it looks healthy. This is in November. Now, in November, I started noticing my... My hair was growing, it was getting longer, but then it was getting shorter. If you notice the heat damage. Yeah, this is heat damage. But I was finally getting somewhere with my hair growth, you guys, and I'm still putting heat to it. Then I would wash it, throw it up, and it just would be so limp. Like, I have no body to it, so I just want to straighten it. I try to do braid outs. This is by June 2019, still straightening it. Now the blonde is my hair and then the black at the bottom is the extension. So you can tell where my hair cuts off. By June 2019, I have no curl pattern. You guys, no curl pattern. So here I go to straightening it again. Now, I was trying to start a routine with deep conditions and keep my hair healthy. I was really trying this time. This was in August 2019, and I was just trying to put in twists. You know, the length is, is it's grown a lot. I mean, August 2019. And so I put braids in because I didn't like those twists and this was right before that second big chop I just cut it all out you guys I cut it out um, anyway I like it short I like the curl pattern that I had here and um, moving right along August I started wearing my wigs in September this was the length I got to by September. Oops, month later. As soon as I'm able to put it in ponytails, I put it in ponytails. Um, September 23rd. So I cut it August 19th. So about a month later, I'm able to pull it back into a ponytail. I was not able to pull it back into a ponytail when I first cut it. Um, and that's a month. That's only one month. What was I doing at this time? pretty sure I was just doing leave-in conditioners and I was sitting underneath my um, humidifier or whatever that thing is called a steamer I would do that and put the braids in this is by September and this was by October so within two months I mean look at that puff what was I thinking? I was finally able to braid it down, so I started braiding it down. Where it braided for a few days and take it out and look at that by October. Three months, three months. Ridiculous. This was back into the then as soon as I was able to put it in the ponytail, um I I bought a clip in ponytail so that I'd, you know, add length to it and I would rock buns, I would rock ponytails. I did straighten it, but I had to straighten it here because I was going to court. I had to look good. I was able to put it in braids and try to do braid outs. I'm, I was still working on my hair texture, you guys. It's, it's just different. I cannot find anybody with my same hair texture. This is my son's hair growth. We'll get to him later. 
this is what I was saying. I would sit under the steamer with the leave with the leave-in conditioner and then um, even the mask. I would do that a lot. Just trying to figure out how to moisturize my hair. If you look at that hair growth from December, this was 30 day difference from the, my eyebrow to the, my nose, like ridiculous December. This was in January, 2020. And I actually was just putting it in ponytails. Um, I, I was straightening here. I go trying to straighten it again. I don't know why. This is the length check I did in January and look how, look how much is already gone. It's already past my shoulders. Still wearing the buns, still straightening it, still putting it in braids. The braid method seemed to work. Um, yeah, it's way past my shoulders. Straight braids, straightened. I think I did a braid and then I took them out and then I just styled it. That's how I got that curl pattern. My son's here. All right. Braids again. And then this was in September 2020. Keep on straightening it. I decided I wanted to dye it. So I did this in January 2021, you guys. I didn't like it. I actually wanted to go purple. So I figured I had to go blonde before I went purple. So when I went blonde, it went orange. Then I still try to go purple. And the day, this is January the 6th. This is two days later. I've damaged my hair. So by January 31st, I ended up cutting off all the ends that were already like pretty much breaking. Um, I did that in February. I dyed it again. Ah, I dyed it again because the new growth, if you see the new growth here, and this was January 31st, um, yeah, this is purple January the 8th. So by the 31st or so three weeks, I already have new growth. I dyed it. Then I kept straightening it, and because the, the blonde just was damaged to me, I could not figure out how to recover from that. I would put it in braids. I mean, I was able to braid it, so I would put it in braids a lot. Um, this is May 15th, so this is a couple of weeks ago. May 18th, I decided, you know what? Look at this hair. It's not, look how damaged it is. Look at it. Look at my face. I look crazy. Okay. So I had to start over. Big chop number three. And so far, I'm loving it. But this time, you guys, I will definitely keep up with what I'm doing. Give my tips and tricks on what I'm doing. Because I'm noticing it's just growing out so much from day one. And now...